Sonic Village is a, a continuous care retirement facility. I have about uh, 1,700 residents right now on uh, 1,400 acres. We have everything from uh, a condominium type apartment setting to cottages, uh, which are duplex type settings, right on through to more of a congregate living and a healthcare center as well. Our capstone units actually are generating a little over 10% of the electricity that we use for the entire campus right now. And we actually have six micro turbines out there and with the efficiencies that we have there with the heat exchangers, we actually supply all our hot water needs here off the, the micro turbines. We do not need to run our boilers. It's a classic CHP site, 24-7 operation, all the hot water and the electrical generation on site. Carbon footprint reduction was, was one of the drivers here. Originally we ran uh, the whole facility off some uh, huge old coal-fired boilers. Uh, and that was strictly for our hot water system, our heating system. Actually uh, became quite a problem just with the emissions and such and our interest to getting green. And the local uh, power supplier here, PPNL at that time, was uh, working on some projects and such and came to us about the potential in putting in a combined heat and power plant. We have uh, three gas-based boilers and at that time put five uh, micro turbines in. Uh, just the combined heat and power has just uh, really been a godsend for us and it's worked out very well. Here at the Masonic Village, the turbine array was installed in 2002, fired up and ran nicely for the first five years. We approached Jeff Gramas and his team in 2007. Capstone had a factory protection plan rolled out under new management. We were able to secure a nine-year contract from Jeff, which allowed us to replace the engine cores, uh, put our HRMs on top, uh, really increased the electrical efficiency by 10% and the thermal efficiency by 40%. Um, fired those back up, they run continuously now. And in 2012, we will open up the turbines, shut them down, open them up, and replace the engine cores for a second rebuild. So we'll see this array run out to 2017 on out to 2020, 25. The original five turbines have now in excess of 85,000 hours of operational time. So they've run continuously, day after day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all year, uh, for approximately nine years now. It's not just the fact that we're generating electricity, but we're also using the exhaust to preheat and, and deal with our domestic hot water right here in this building and, and also pour some up at our healthcare campus. And that's what really makes, uh, makes the payback work. You look at the BTUs in, BTUs out, and what we're getting out of it, if you will, and, and converting your KW to BTU. And when you're talking 80 to 85% uh, efficiency on, on that throughput, uh, that's a pretty impressive number. We're very happy with Capstone, and, and again, like I said, with Affinity being their, their local rep, uh, it's been uh, a very positive relationship.